Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning everybody, welcome to our final special event of the year. We're at Phoenix Road Course for Flight of the Phoenix. It's a multi-class event featuring the Cadillac CTS-V, the Holden VF-V8, the FGO1 and also the Ford Falcon. In the Cadillacs it was Van Delden who took pole ahead of Galenicki and Simon Underhill. Neil Bamba sat in fourth in Holden V8 ahead of Jan Malesva in the next Cadillac CTS-V. Matt Talea was in sixth ahead of Phil Gregory and Martin Brandon with Ian Robson and Ryan Walker rounding out the field. The Baird brothers and Mark Robinson didn't start the race. None of the cars in this race are easy to handle. We're going on board with Van Delden for his fastest lap, a 57.990. As we said then, it is the final special event of the year, so let's just recap on the other three. The first one was at Okiyama, that did feature the Cadillacs, that was won by Simon Underhill. We then took a visit to Laguna Seca in the Pontiac Solstice, Van Delden won that one. Then it was over to Bathurst for the V8, so that was a very exciting race and it was Neil Bamba who came out top there. We're expecting this one to be a bit different though, because as we've seen with the Z4s and MX-5s, running into traffic can cause all sorts of problems and with four different cars on the grid, we're sure to see some action during the race. As special events give everybody the chance to top up their points for the year. This all goes towards the drive of the year standings. On top of the moment it is still Van Delden ahead of Neil Bamba. Then in third it's Simon Underhill ahead of Chris Butterell. The overall winner of Drive of the Year will receive $50 in the form of iRacing credits courtesy of Bowman Solutions. they will also receive a Drive of the Year t-shirt from Acorn Printing who are our official team wear supplier. There are still four races to go in the BMW and MX5 Championship so we will see what happens there with Van Delden and Neil Bamba. So that is Van Delden coming up to complete his qualifying lap, a 57.990. Let's get down to the start of the race and see how everything kicks off. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. Flight of the Phoenix is about to get underway then. It is Phil Gregory who starts at the front of the grid. He is the fastest of the slowest in the Ford. Everybody is away, we're going to follow this through the first few corners. Van Delden already trying to make a move up the inside of the Motorsport Auction Livery to care. Try to get the Cadillacs up to the front of the field as quickly as possible. It's a great move from Van Delden, he's up into third place already. No liveries are in force for these special events this year, but that will be changing for 2016. We'll have some more liveries coming out very soon as we look to refresh everything and get even more out for you. It wouldn't be long before people started getting caught up in all sorts of accidents. This is Galenicki with Brandon and Underhill. Slight tap there and spinning the car out. Everybody else trying to avoid the 82 car of Martin Galenicki. Martin rejoining the race then at the back of the field. He gets the Cadillac back on track. Moving on, this is Ian Robson now. We're going to follow him. See a couple of the cars going wide through there. To using as much of the tarmac as possible. Ian was chasing Martin Brandon. He was using the motorsport auction delivery for this race. We come through the road section here at Phoenix International Raceway. There's traffic behind with some of the other Cadillacs coming through. They try and make their way through and get ahead and try and catch up to Van Delden. Phil Gregory in the green and black Ford there. There's a slight tap as they come back onto the other part of the circuit with Martin Brandon doing a 360 and rejoining in further behind. Gawanaki soon made his way back up the field. This was him right on the tail of Neil Bamba in the Holden. Coming down the main straight, the power of the Cadillac showing. Coming up the inside of Neil. Neil not having an answer to the move. Neil pulling wide to keep out the way and then allowing him to pass. Ryan Walker then demonstrated just how difficult these cars are to handle. Mind you, it was an impressive drift though. Coming round the corner and onto the oval part of the course. Fantastic control from Ryan to keep it going and in a straight line. With it being multi-class, it wouldn't be very long before cars started to be lapped. And this was demonstrated very early on. Matt Talea, this was Simon Underhill and Ian Robson all going through. Everyone try to keep out of everybody else's way. Ian Robson making the mistake. A very slight tap on the back of Talea's car. He did pick up damage though and needed to go to the pits. On board now, this is Jan Malesver. This is in the Cadillac coming into turn number one. He was the next to get it wrong, onto the brakes and then onto the power coming through here. He slid the car into the side of the wall. With only a few cars in each class, this race would come down to pit stops and who could take the advantage from that. This is Matt Talea looking back at Simon Underhill and through the road section once again. Talea on the brakes slightly too early for Simon and Talea off into the wall this time. Another pit stop required for him. 
Ryan Walker was going steady, but he was being followed by Jan Molesva, and as Jan came to pass in the Cadillac, there was contact between the two. That resulted in quite a bit of damage to Ryan's car, but he'd already passed the entrance to the pit lane, meaning he had to complete another lap before making repairs. Jumping on board with Van Delden, that is Simon Underhill in first, just up ahead. Jan Molesva further in front of him. Simon trying to find a way past as quickly as possible, but a mistake from him, very similar to what we saw from Jan earlier on, that meant that Van Delden would take the lead of the race. A quick reminder of what we've got coming up as we head into December. It is a busy month. We First of all, we've got round seven of the BMW Z4 and MX5 Championship. That's at Charlotte Road Course. We then head to Sebring for round number eight in that championship. And also on the 16th of December, we have got the prize draw for our first lucky dip. If you want to be in a chance to win that, then all you've got to do is take out one of our subscriber packages through the forum. We're only a few pounds a month and it does help out the league greatly. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and drop us a like over on our Facebook page. Jan Molesva was having an absolute torrid time in his Cadillac. You see Van Delden just up ahead after he had passed him and Simon Underhill had gone off. Jan power slid it this time opposite side of the road and into the wall once again. Further pit stops required in a blown engine. It seemed to be that the Cadillacs were proving the most difficult to handle. Martin Gwenicki then demonstrated this. He clipped the concrete wall and then put it off and into the sand in the tyre barrier. Van Delden had been in for a scheduled pit stop for fuel and tyres. He came out behind the race leader Simon Underhill. These two had been battling it out all race long. It wasn't long before Van Delden made a move up the inside into turn one. Simon Underhill staying wide and taking a cut across the grass. After that move, there was no looking back for Van Delden though. He would stay out front and take the race win. That is his second win in the four special events we've hosted this year. It also adds to his tally for the driver of the year standings. It's been an impressive year for Matt. Is there anything that Neil Bambo can do to catch him up? Well, we have only got four races left, so it is looking unlikely now. But 2016, you never know. We could see something happening next year. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bodinsolutions.com. To the race results for the final special event of the year, to the Cadillacs it was Van Delden who took the win ahead of Underhill and Gwenicke, Jan Molesver finishing 9th overall. Neil Bamba then came home in 4th but 1st in his class in the Holden VF V8, Matt Talea in 10th in the other Holden V8. In the Ford Falcons and the FGA1s it was Martin Brandon ahead of Phil Gregory, Ryan Walker was in 7th overall ahead of Ian Robson. So that brings a conclusion to the special events for 2015, they will be back next year, Simon Underhill will be taking over the management of them. If you do fancy getting involved with them then keep an eye out for the forum threads and get signed up when they appear. That is it from us this week, don't forget to join us next week for round 7 of the BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship, that's coming from Charlotte Road Course at Night Race, then we head to Sebring the week after. So until next time, thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, bye bye.